Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to another video. Um, so uh, this is a bit of a different video to the ones I normally post because I, I want to talk. This is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now. It's a very serious topic that I've been needing to talk about for a while, but things are a bit difficult at the minute and it just never seemed like the right time and I wasn't entirely sure how to do it. It's something that most people probably know about me, but you might not. And if you don't, then hopefully it doesn't change how you see me. And don't worry, I didn't kill anyone if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> didn't do anything illegal. Um, it's just something that I've been needing to talk about for a while. So um, I hope you understand. And uh, let's get into it. Also, just real quick, um, it's a bit difficult for me to play and read off a script, so I will be putting some random Hypixel parkour in the background like those cringy TikTokers do. Blah! Alright, on with the video. Hi. My name is Tilly, although you probably know that. And I have autism. I'm not famous or anything, so I don't get questions every single video like oh my god how do you manage but sometimes people do ask me what's it like being autistic or what are your struggles so today i thought i'd make a video explaining autism and what it's like to raise awareness now before i begin i would like to announce that i am not a professional although you probably know that and all of what i say is just my personal experience so don't, please don't ask me for any advice, I'm not like an autism pro. So, first of all, what is autism? Autism is a developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social interaction and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. God, I hate Google. <laughs> if you didn't understand that, I don't blame you, I don't understand it either. Uh, just look up the Google definition for autism, I don't know. Now, autism has a broad spectrum, mainly known as autis Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. Some people with ASD get it from a genetic condition, like from their parents. But some are unknown, like me. None of my family is autistic, but I have autism. Little fun fact. Uh, we actually know more about cancer than we do autism. Autism isn't always exclusive. People with autism, like me, can suffer from things alongside, like ADHD, ODD, dyslexia, OCD, and more, meaning it can sometimes be harder to pick up on autistic behaviour. Now, onto the types of autism. There are five main types of autism, called Asperger's Syndrome, Rett Syndrome, Childhood Disintegrative Disorder, Canner Syndrome, and Pervasive Developmental Disorder. But what do all of that mean? I'm not a specialist, alright, as I've said. So I can't really go into detail about those. And I also think it would just be a bit boring if I was if I became a documentary channel about autism. So I'll just be talking about my personal first-hand experience of autism. So please keep in mind that I'm not a professional. I can't say who does and doesn't have autism. Once again, my personal experience. I have ADHD, ODD, anxiety, and autism. So that means it can be hard to pick up on some of my autistic qualities, but sometimes it is easy to tell. This is about as personal as I'm gonna get, so please respect that. With my autism, I need a set routine for things and pre-warning for plans, like going out and stuff. Now, this makes things a lot harder for me because sometimes I can't be warned. If something happens suddenly, I can't be warned, which makes it a bit more difficult for me to cope. I also have to do things a certain way, but again, I can't really explain that. So on to the next thing. As most people know, with all sorts of people, sensory issues are a big difficulty. And the case is similar with me. I hate noises like fireworks or people screaming. Shouting, yeah, that's normal, but screaming like, of your lung screaming is where it starts getting me a bit uncomfortable. Sensory also includes physical issues, like where I kind of can't be touched. Don't take that the wrong way. Come on, we're all mature now. We're all mature here. 
Come on now. I hate being touched on my face, back or sides, and when I do, it scares me and makes me uncomfortable. Sensory also includes how I interpret things. So things like flirting and apologies are difficult for me to comprehend. I can't exactly say much more about autism since, again, I'm not a professional. And for the last time, please, it's just my personal experience. It will definitely be different for other people. If you relate to any of this, don't automatically think you have autism. It doesn't work like that. I'm not saying don't think that you're autistic. If you think you're autistic, go to a specialist like CAMS, Child Adult Mental Health Services, if you're in England or whatever your specialist is in your country. Please, don't watch this and think, oh, I do all of this, I'm autistic. It's not how it works. But uh, thank you for listening, and have a great day. Thank you for listening to that. Um, I know this isn't normally the kind of content that I upload on my channel, but again, it's something that I have been needing to talk about for quite a while. Again, it's not the normal kind of content that I upload, but it's it's a very serious matter that I need to talk about. So I'm sorry if this isn't what you're expecting, but thank you for listening. And um, hopefully your opinion on me hasn't changed. I know that sounds like I'm in rehab for killing a person. But hopefully uh, everything will be okay. And uh, yeah, um, I hope this sheds some light on the situation, what is autism and how difficult it can be for some people, but also for, the other, for other people around autistic people, since it is a bit difficult to pick up on these kinds of things. Uh, and a diagnosis as well is a lot, a lot of... There's a lot of difficulty around diagnosis, like, I've got nine years without the diagnosis and I'm still waiting. But, um, I hope you understand, and hopefully this helps people to understand a little bit better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!